It's October 23rd, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as nuclearproctologist.org. And you can find my videos and Fukushima presentations at Beautiful Girl by Dana on YouTube. And today we're going to test out a song sent to me just a few moments ago that I got it. So, <laughs> I'm not sure how that's playing on your end, but I think it's going to make for a good intro. The volume is down low right now and I just I imported it dropped the volume down that was Alex from New Zealand thank you Alex and I actually never got to listen to the whole song because I just imported it and I couldn't get it to transfer from one computer to the other I had to download it on this computer and I only had a few seconds <laughs> now we started over again well we played it tr twice hang on <laughs> we played it twice, sorry. I thought I had a stop on it, but it didn't. Uh, so, I hope that came out okay on your end. Uh, I didn't check the volume, but it's really good quality, so I turned it down quite a long way, but it's still probably a little bit loud. And I can't uh, stream and monitor on my side, so I have to monitor you from inside on the comments section. And so I hi to everybody. See, fans says nice tune, so I guess it came out okay on your end. It's, uh, I'll listen to it after and see what, if I made any mistakes. And kind of uh, after four days of talking about Japan itself, excuse me, we we told that story anyway of how bad Japan is, and we told. You know most aspects over the last four uh, episodes this is episode nine <laughs> I just better check my page in case I smurfed anything up here today I can get rid of that dear yeah episode nine Japan has fallen and what you see behind me and around me and everywhere in you know every aspect that we talk about here is a because of Japan's melted reactors. Uh, but it could be any reactor on this planet that we could be talking about today or tomorrow or the next day. Or we should have been talking about pre-Fukushima. All, all of these melted reactors and all of these uh, nuclear waste sites and all these dump sites and all these releases into the community and all these... And a lot of, you know, I should pop that stuff up when I'm talking about it. You got nuclear holding sites all over the country, different types of nuclear holding sites all over the country because they don't know what to do with it. They radiated America. Just look what 10 years of nuclear testing with the same wind traveling in that direction has done. And they done all of this because they were afraid the Ruskies might bomb them and do this to them. This is a CIA map of what would happen. if. And so all the nuclear, every aspect of nuclear it continues to haunt us. There, there is nothing about nuclear that is is good. And the fire that shut down US-95 called hot and powerful. I'm just going to touch upon a few headlines at the beginning of each episode from now on. Uh, these are today's headlines and yesterday's headlines. And so we try to keep up with the news from here on out each day on each of these episodes just to bring the present into the past. And also, you know, the reason we're in this trouble is because of the accident. And if we talk about the accident today's with today's headlines, you can't give it context and people don't know what you're talking about. And people don't understand Japan's melter reactors because there's so many um, PR documentaries out there like Veritasium, like PBS, like Nova, like uh, National Geographic's put out these um, on TV, these these outrageous fabrications of the real event, where they minimize everything and they equate everything with bananas and potato chips and walking in the sunshine. So you can't have a conversation with the average person until until uh, they understand and everybody understands the event, the ongoing, and, and you can't understand the ongoing problems unless you understand the event. You can't 
you can't consider the magnitude of the of this future problems and ongoing problems and the death of the Pacific Ocean if you don't understand what happens. And because what happened has is becoming buried in the past, we keep it in the light. Fire to shut down US ninety five. They shut down like a hundred um it was 120 miles or 150 miles of highway because there was an underground fire. Now think about this, St. Louis. The underground fire, they say, has never got near the nuclear waste, but they, they shut down over 100 miles of highway. Because if someone died in that plume, then the loved ones wouldn't be able to bury them in a graveyard. They'd be nuclear waste too. And you can imagine the blowback from something like that in all the dumps throughout the countries. All of a sudden, people would understand the significance of those dumps. All of a sudden, they would become... Uh, the pe And so the people who own these dumps and ran these dumps, they're retired on massive pensions. They're out there giving lectures in your institutions. They're teaching in your institutions. They're in your government's setting policies. And they don't want this to come back in their faces because then people will understand what kind of monster they really are. People will understand how dark their secrets really are. And their children and their friends and their loved ones and everyone around them will alienate them and will not trust them. And back to the nuclear zone. So there's only, uh, out of 8,000 people, there's around 400 that they talked into going back. And so it just... The stench of rotten rat excrements filled the living room. One of thousands of residents who fled the towns. And so after Naraha lifted his evacuation orders on September the 5th, a month ago, a little over a month ago, he hastened back to see his home and wild boars had wrecked his gardens and yet freshly picked daisies on the family altar inside a decayed interior suggests he may decide to return to his ancestral home. No, he went home and he took that stuff out, the daisies, and he, and he put a gift to his, because they're very spiritual people. That doesn't mean just because he, he put a symbolic, symbolic gesture there to his loved ones that all of a sudden now he wants to come, he's settling in now, he's breaking out to welcome that. It's just disgusting. The plant's radioactive plume headed northwest. So they're describing the original event as a plume that came through the country. So this is why no one trusts them, a lack of trust to the authority, because even the media trying to tell the story has to lie for you. And yet, so you can't trust anybody in your media, so you need to go deal with these people, you know, to get into their faces. When you write stories like that in Japan, don't bother going to the government office, go to that newspaper. You go get in his face, you call him what you do in that society, you call him out. You say, you lied. In your paper, you are disrespecting everybody on this planet and your own country by doing that. You tell the truth. We don't buy your paper. We demand you be fired. We demand your boss be held accountable. This is what Japan has to do. I can't do it. I can't go down there and stand in front of every time. But if you're there, you live there. A yeah, hundred thousands of you will march in the street against the government. Hundreds of thousands need to march in the street against every story that puts the party line out there. Forget about them. Go down to this little building and hold them accountable. Right? If you want to see change, that's what you do with them. You go after the people that are writing the stories. You hold them accountable because nobody's going to hold them accountable. Oh, I'm just writing what the media... What, the, what the, the memo said this morning from the government, that is not acceptable. That is not acceptable. Nuke sector studies see rising cancer risks. One in a hundred deaths. One in a hundred. One in a hundred. Well, that's okay, Dana. It's much higher than that. The whole country is dying. Everybody's breathing radioactive particles in Japan. All the time. All the time. And before it is just 0.8 of a percent of children in 2001 in a controlled group. And now 36% in a Fukushima study. 
But they just ran out with another study said they tested 2,700 children. In Fukushima, never found no radiation at all, just to try to cover it up. So you run down to those medias that ran that story and didn't talk about these stories in the context, and you hold them accountable. You do that in your own country. You do that in your own cities. You do that particularly to the propaganda machine itself. It's time for a million people to march on Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. They're the ones that are teaching Japan how to cover this up. That's a fact. Fukushima government, over 35% of young people tested, has thyroid cysts. These are from the radiation, folks. It was less than 1%, now it's 35% of the children. Human embryos are likely bioaccumulating radioactive iodine, cesium, and strontium. 35.8% of the children. So 13,646 do? They're going to have lifelong problems. Many of them probably already died. And so under the 3% of the children exposed to Chernobyl radiation, which was, which was a candle, a tiny candle compared to any of the reactors in Japan. They're all breeder reactors. They're all three times the size. They're all 100% meltdowns. They're all cannibalizing everything around it and ionizing and radiating it throughout Japan. Under 3% of the children came out normal after Chernobyl. 3%. And 3 million children required treatment because of Chernobyl, which was a candlestick. A candlestick. And radiation and cancers don't show up right away. But all the other autoimmune deficiencies they don't want to talk about, 1,800 of them do. And Japan is destroyed, 100% destroyed. Health. So U.S. worried about inhaling hot particles from Fukushima because it was an invisible snowstorm, not just throughout Fukushima, constantly, every day, continuously till the end of time, even today, forever. It's right here too in North America. Inhaling just one hot particle can cause a cancer. Every particle coming out of Japan is a, is a cancer, see? Because they use mixed oxide fuels. It's already two million times worse than the original element. So the effects of plutonium on the lung tissues, one particle you know, diseases to fear in the West Coast because everybody was breeding in 5, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 a day. And so in the next couple of years, and if you don't understand that, if you can't wrap your mind around that, it's because you haven't been here. Dr. Raymond Gill, Medi, over 35 years, killed beagle dogs and beagle puppies. And what does his studies, 94 of his studies show that the dogs all were dying within three years. But a dog is not the same lifespan as a human, right? Every year in a dog is seven years. But what they were doing to the dogs was, in, was just a single exposure. We're getting exposures every day. So that's why we see the Pacific Ocean is dead. That's why we see all the marine life have, have uh, disappeared. That's why we see every industry has failed, except for the larger fish that are bioaccumulators. But they're disappearing too. But all the migratory have disappeared. The whales that are eating, any bigger fish that are dependent upon smaller invertebrates like the crustaceans, krill, or say herring, or anchovies have failed. Squid have failed. Mackerel have failed. These are the major, major feeder fish for the entire migratory population of the entire Pacific Ocean. And so these studies show definitively beyond reproach that radiation in just small doses of this, these hot particles, because they were hot particles, um, are devastating. So the effects of plutonium on the lung tissue, a single particle. And a, inhaling a hot particle because it sequesters in your organs. And then it's pulsing into your body until the end of time. And if they cremate you, you liberate that back into the environment. It can float around for a million years. Somebody else or something else can inhale it. Not likely, because we're going to kill this entire planet. We're not even trying to stop this. We're not even trying to move forward. We're not even trying to have a conversation. We're not even trying to have a debate. 
Nobody out there is, except for us. I'm sure there's a few people out there, don't get me around there, but nobody in media, nobody in your governments, nobody in the industry, nobody, nobody, zero. Everybody's trying to bury it. Hide it away like it didn't happen. Pretend that the ocean is not dying. And we've covered 15,000 miles of the coastline on the Fukushima expeditions for life. And that is something we are all, you know, responsible for. That had to be done. The, they wouldn't go out and look at it because they knew it was all missing. They wouldn't go out and report on it because they knew that nobody would publish it and nobody would ever give them fundings again. They knew it was all missing before we went and looked. They've been doing radiation detecting throughout the countries and they never told us. Cesium immediately damages the heart muscles. Children are affected. So when body radioactive body 75% lodges in the muscle muscle tissues, tissues, uh, tissues, Dana, you'll get it at some point, Dana. I'm just getting a little bit excited to calm down. Xenon not only causes dramatic increases in lung cancers. Okay. So I'm just trying to build you a quick picture. Hang on and bear with me. These are the releases of Xenon, but there's 2,000 other elements we know about, 10,000 that are classified by the military. But they tell you about cesium, and they tell you about iodine. And so we got to stop. we got to stop with the lies. we got to stop with and, and sitting there and reading the lies and not getting in these people's faces. There's no change without sacrifices. And the sacrifices are not difficult. You call up those medias that are lying every day when they come out with a story. Like people in, in, moving back into the, the zones of Japan that are evacuation zones are somehow okay. Are somehow magically not going to ingest a single particle. That's why we have terrorist laws. That's why we have nuclear waste sites. Nuclear plant workers develop cancer despite radiation exposure below the legal limit. Well, the legal limit is just something some idiot, some suit said, oh, well, here's, here's, a, here, here's a study on fruit flies. But nobody went and looked at the studies in context of issuing licenses in, or putting reactors in communities of Dr. Raymond Gilmetty. No one bothered to say it. No one went there and said, well, we're worried about a nuclear power plant in our community building one there because... Tumor, a death from radiation occurs from 1 to 5 to 5.4 years after exposure. And tumors of the lung, skeleton, and liver occur at 3 years. And that bone tumors found in 93 dogs were the most common cause of death. And that lung tumors found in 46 dogs was the second most common cause of death, etc., etc. These are all causes of deaths, but they all equated with a fruit fly and that uh, homesis. And so... That rhetoric is why we can't have a conversation and won't have a future. And that's why your children are sick and lethargic and unable to perform or excel. And that's why everybody, all the species are missing throughout North America. Why all the insects are missing throughout North America, except for tawny, tawny percent of a percent of a percent of a percent. And that's why all the birds are missing, except for a percent of 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 a percent that we've documented on the Fukushima Expeditions for Life. That's why all the industries have failed. That's why the, everybody's concerned about it. That's why we have terrorist laws. It's not so dump it in the ocean, all of a sudden, that's okay. If I took some of this radioactivity and dumped it in your rivers or your lakes or your streams, that is an act of terror. If they do it to you, that is an act of terror. And because they have done it to you, this is an act of terror. And because they covered it up, it's not only an act of betrayal, it's not only an act of sedition, it's an act of, of absolute, uh, you know, it's inhumane and it's unconscionable, it's unethical, it's, it's unmoral. There is no moral high ground that anybody in the nuclear industry can take for any aspect of the nuclear industry. There is no moral. Let me, let me just read some, pre and I skipped past the headlines one in a hundred deaths now is what they're, they're starting to roll out what the truth is, see? China expresses concern about Japan's potential for building 1,350 nuclear warheads. This is their weapons program. 
you know, like a nuclear war. You can't have a nuclear war without destroying the whole planet. It's the stupidest thing imaginable. It's the most idiocracy. It's stupid idiocracy. It's just they they can't they know, they understand, they, they assume that it'll never happen, but they keep doing it to get their hands on the money. And but a lot of them are working hard to have it happen, to have a nuclear war. A lot of them want to kill everything on this planet. These are the types of people that gravitated to these positions and that are put in these positions. These are unstable, unchecked people. These are people from families that are influential and that have no right and that have no merits. It took 42 years to finish a nuclear plant. 42 years. Ah, oh, nuclear simple, Dana. You build it, and you use it, and it just no green carbon, no carbon, no no pollution, Dana. Or everybody else on this planet. The biggest lie imaginable. The biggest fabrication imaginable. The biggest betrayal imaginable. 42 years and counting. America's latest nuclear reactor up and running. And so if something screws up, it takes a lifetime of gener it takes you can never re repair it or recreate it. You can never go back to what it was before you released it. You can never catch these atoms and put them back in the genie bottle. Forty two years and not even money. Endless money. The money you spent in forty two years on debt, you probably could have put a solar panel on every house in your country. In the entire country. You know, up Uranium Creek without a paddle. People who believe nuclear energy is clean often fail to look at the entire uranium chain from excavation to waste storage. In the United States, there are more than 10,000 abandoned uranium mines. 10,000. So not only 10,000 uranium mines, you have all these waste sites all over the country on top of that. All of these are hemorrhaging into your rivers, your lakes, your estuaries, your streams, your communities. And then you have all the radioactive fallout from all of that. But yet they're going to tell you, oh, it's like a cheeseburger. It's like walking in sunshine. It's like getting on an airplane. And so the people who write that stuff, you need to get down there and out them. You need to get down there, find them, and yell at them. You need to get down there and tell them what they are. What kind of low life, demented, twisted sack of shit they are. You need to flood their Facebook. You need to flood their Twitter. You need to make them go out and hire every nuclear PR firm on the planet to try to rebuild their reputation. And you need to make sure that can't be done. Yeah, Dina, yelling. The Marshall Islanders want to leave. Because now they're starting to understand what really radiation is all about. Now they're understanding that even though they were told it's like a banana, oh, yeah, no, it's like a potato chip, oh, it's like walking in sunshine. For 50 odd years, now they understand they're educated, they got the internet, and they learned that it's not. And they learned that, there is, that their children that are born like jellies is not natural. And they learned that they have been lied to and lied to and used as guinea pigs and that their children have been barbarized and destroyed and molested and raped by these people that showed up in their communities in the nuclear industry and that these people have no moral or conscience whatsoever and that these are the worst that society can manifest and that everything and anybody that's associated and works for a nuclear industry is the lowest common denominator imaginable these are the lowest forms of life they didn't get a job there, they'd be in jail for rape and murder and child molesting and everything else. Every friggin' one of them. They all know what they're doing and they all know that they're not going to get a job anywhere else at $120,000 a year and then going, oh, I work for a nuclear power plant. You better get me a manager. I'm an important person. I'll rape your kids. I'll eat your children. That's how they think. And everybody that works for these industries are attacking everybody out there that, that tries to point out how evil they are 
because they know their job is hanging on a thread between you never knowing, between you never understanding. Hinkley Point down in, will be in eye watering. I mean, America was 42 years to build ears. Hinkley Point right now is 28 billion or something to build it. That'll triple before they finish it, and it'll be 60, 70 years before they even get to it. Let's get back to Japan. Protesters cause, and this is the last headline, I think. Protesters call for media shut down a Pilgrim nuclear plant. And so today there's major headlines on this. If you're in those areas, you need to get out and support these people that are there protesting. You get down and join that. You need to call up the people that are writing about it. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you better hang up. That was that bank again. <clears throat> Protesters call for the immediate shutdown of Pilgrim. And that is not going to go away in 15 minutes or three days. That will be raging there for weeks before the small people that are there will get finally pushed out or displaced or marginalized or attacked or victimized. But if they start growing in numbers, you have a chance. And it's only that way that you will ever have a opportunity. Protesters want the plant closed. That's today's headlines. People there need to get down there and get into these people's faces. Find the people that are writing these headlines if you live in other places. And if that that if they're lying about it and talking about bananas or potato chips or anything like that or natural background radiation, you need to get down to that media and stick it to them. Get in their faces. Don't let them off with it. Hold them accountable. Yell at them. Anything is better than letting them get away with it. Because they're going to write another article to get another couple of thousand bucks from the nuclear industry to tell you lies and to try to murder you and your loved ones. Nuclear plant workers develop cancer. Federal training manual refers to sick nuclear workers as friendly cougars. This is the contempt that they have for you once you get sick. Because other people might start saying, well, my dad used to work here. He's really sick. I wonder if that's the same thing. Tritium rain to result from disposal of Fukushima contaminated water throughout the whole country. That radioactive rainfall occurs around all nuclear plants during normal operations. Normal. I like muddling that with some words sometimes. <coughs> So all nuclear plants are raining radioactive fallout on you, as I've covered in many of these episodes already. U.S. study, 23% higher incidence of childhood leukemia within 16 kilometers of nuclear facility or under the jet ring wing, wind. Hello? Hey, I've told you guys that this is the nuclearproctologist.org repeatedly, and you keep calling this number. Why do you not take this number off the, off your list? And you said you would. I told you how to verify the number. And now I'm streaming live on the Internet to my day show. This is my daily show for one hour on the nuclearproctologist.org. You're live on here right now on the speakerphone. Are you going to take my number off this list and stop interrupting my shows. This is not the first time you've been on my show. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody out there in the, in the proctologist world. Um, so this number is not the right number to reach a Dwayne McGuire. Is that what you're telling me? This is what I told you for the last 12 days every day. And now, now once again, you're interfering my show. This is a, you go to your show and have yourself a if you call back tomorrow, listen to me. What's your name? Hey, Have a good day, sir. Thank no, you. get back here. <laughs> Let's keep going. 23% higher incidence of childhood leukemia within 16 kilometers of nuclear facility. <laughs> we got to stop these sorts of phone calls. A report's coming out. International conference warns that media talk of Fukushima health effects may be harmful. Fukushima 50 workers speak out. If you blame TEPCO for Simpsons, symptoms, you're told not to come back. 5,000 counts per minute is a dead person walking. That's a person who will have to liquidate their assets. And that's what the typical Japanese people are getting every week in their country. 
As we've covered in the last four episodes, Japan has lost its mind. Before Fukushima, it was uh, less than 1%, now 43%. From less than 1% throughout the whole area to 43% of everybody tested. That's murder. That's murder. Yeah, it takes them 5 or 10 years to die, 15 years before the industry finally gets hold of them, pumps them full of radioactive material to finish them off with chemotherapy. That's how they kill you, right? Chemotherapy is about killing you and taking your assets. And if you're if you're an old person with your home and there's no one there to help you and your family don't know what's going on, they'll liquidate your entire asset. Everything, your home, your pensions, they'll take everything you got before they let you die. Oh yeah, and they'll pump you full of stuff and keep you alive. They're gonna die, but they gotta keep you alive so you can sign pieces of paper till it's all gone, and then they give you the last chemotherapy. This is what they're doing in Japan. TEPCO has lost its mind. There is nobody at TEPCO can go to jail in context of the typical crimes that they're committing because they're a corporation. There's no one accountable, right? Including Abe in the government. Modes of exposure. Now you can absorb it through your skin when you're getting a bat. It's shocking what we see going on down there. Fukushima workers. Transported to hospital in bad shape after working at number two, but nobody been killed, Dana. 50 beckles a kilogram in humans lead to irreversible lesions in the vital organs. 100 beckles a kilogram in cesium and nuclear waste. After 100 beckles a kilogram, cesium is safe to eat. So the people that made that happen, you need to flush them out. Then you need to hold them accountable. Then everybody that recited their nonsense in the media, you need to get in their faces. You need to get right in their faces. You need to get up in their faces and ask them in a very polite matter with a tape recorder or a camera why they didn't bother fact-checking it, why they don't look at the people who shows in studies for decade after decade, like Dr. Raymond Gilmitty is that prime example, if I can ever find him because I have so much. Dana, there he is. This guy here, he killed big old dogs. Those studies are a lot less than that. what they're talking about. That's a hell of a lot less. You take those studies and you go down and you say, why didn't you look at that stuff? How come you never mention that stuff? Why do you always hide away from that stuff? Why do you say that that stuff doesn't exist? Why do you claim that is not bad? Cancer for illness from Fukushima radiation will be in 5 to 10 years. This is a disaster affecting all residents of Japan. Toko University. You notice he was battered and bruised and beaten and attacked and threatened. Yeah, you better gesture. Gesture says if you needed a proctologist, you hope it wasn't me that he ended up with. I got big fingers, dude. Children's hate problems increasing, incurable chest pains, nosebleeds, diarrhea. Oh, it's just because their, their, their parents are making them sick by worrying about Fukushima. So the people here in Japan that are saying that, it's okay to feel, want to feel like dragging it beyond your car down the block a few times. No one can blame you for wanting to hang them. No one can blame you for, for hanging them, really. No jury can convict them of hanging that guy from trying to murder your children. How can a jury convict you of hanging somebody that was trying to murder your children. You can't. You plead self-defense. You got to murder these fuckers at some point. They're murdering you at a phenomenal rate that's going to accelerate. Are you going to sit there and take it till you're all gone? Or are you going to go fucking deal with them? Are you cowards? Or are you just going to sit there and take it and let them murder you? That's the question you got to ask yourselves. Are you going to sit there and take it from them? I'm not. Don't take for a second, I'm taking it from him. Inhaling just one hot radioactive particle can cause a cancer. But before it does that, your body floods itself with white blood cells for 15 or 20 years, displacing the oxygen in your body and all the other diseases now can manifest. And so your whole country is already wrecked. Why not go deal with these friggers? Why not go deal with these monsters? Why not have your way with them? 
Do they deserve it? Hell yeah. Will they murder your children with these lies? Hell yes. Have they already done it to you? Yes. Are you going to let them get away with it? Are you? Ask yourself. Are you going to let them get away with it? Are you going to stand your ground? You're next. Inhalation, food, contact, being deposited, reconcentrated. Yeah, oh, GC, they recognize that the reactors are running on plutonium and uranium. Plutonium and uranium. Not cesium, not iodine, not the byproducts, but plutonium and uranium. And Ken Buesler and Jay Collin will tell you, oh, it's natural, you find it all throughout the world. You're going to let these friggers gonna get away with what they're doing to us? What they already got done to us? With the confusion they already created? With all the media that ran their lies. Fukushima effects may be worse than those suffered in Chernobyl. Hoo hoo hoo. Mix oxide fuel. Two million times worse than any current reactor. Chernobyl was one third size. Chernobyl, 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days in Chernobyl, 400 Hiroshima bombs. Fukushima, just millions of times. Each of these reactors are millions of Chernobyls. Chernobyl's not even a candle. And IEA admits today there's no such thing as a safe level of radiation. Of course, they never repeated those words again. I'm not fit to do a stream today anyway. I'm just so angry. I'm just so angry with these people, with the murders, and with the death of the Pacific Ocean. I'm just, I'm glad the weekend is here. I'm probably just going to go out on the boat for a day and a half, two days, just anchor up behind an island where nobody can get at me and just try to sleep for two days. In fact, I think I will. The weather looks good for the next couple of days. Boat's all ready to go. I'm ready to go if I want to. Not that I want to, but I might go out and do a couple of tides locally just so I can kind of settle down. Because if I stay here reading the media all the week and I'm going to lose my mind. I really am. I'm starting to snap here today. I knew this this morning that I probably shouldn't do the stream this afternoon, this morning. I knew that before I even started this stream. I knew I was in a foul mood and that I've been going through so many headlines last night and this morning that it's finally gotten, it just, I'm so, I need to calm, I, I shouldn't read headlines in the morning before I do the stream because I got a tendency to get emotional because uh, it, it tortures me to see what they're doing everybody. It tortures me that you get a headline telling the truth and then 500 more headlines lying. That you have to, that's, you know, that if you listen to the lies, it's easy to understand why people don't get it and can't get it and are capable of understanding it and that the significance of it can't be hid away any longer. We got a dead Pacific Ocean. It's dead. There's nothing left out there. Whatever's left there is gone in the next two years. There will be no whales in that ocean in two years. That's a fact. There's no krill out there. There's no herring out there. There's no mackerel. There's no... The basis of the food chain is gone. The ocean didn't recede the coastline. I can plow in this whole coastline with a million plows tomorrow. And in three weeks, it'll be filled up with life because the ocean was supposed to be a super fucking life. And we just done 15,000 miles of coastline and it's missing. It didn't recede itself. Yeah, I'm going to snap here. I know I am. I better stop right now. <sighs> yeah, you need outside help. Unfortunately, today I'm not that guy. Today I don't know who I am. Today I'm an angry person. Because some days, some days I can't take it. Some days I want to go down there and get hold of one of these friggers and just take it out on them. And, I, and that's justified, unfortunately. And that's terrible, and, 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 but it's true. But it's terrible that I want to do something like that. It's terrible that I'm compelled to even say stuff like that. It's terrible that we have to do this because we can't find anybody out there that we can trust, that we can sit back and say, finally, somebody gets it and can tell the truth and understands it and can repeat the truth, the facts, 
Like Dr. Raymond Gilmetty. I like to see Dr. Raymond Gilmetty being cross-examined at the same time as Jay Cullen or Ken Busler. Legally, with people that know about this and read their studies and say, wait a second, here it shows 93 dogs died within three years of the little test of 200 dogs or whatever it was. They all died of tumors and cancers. All of them got less radiation than you already got in your body. Yeah, I'm going to snap here. I know I am. Okay, I'm going to give it up. <clears throat> I'm not fit to talk to it. Artificial radionuclides in the Canadian drinking water is right there. Go to the Health Canada drinking water standards. You'll see this model to my left. And tritium, 7,000 becquels a liter. You know how much was there before? Zero a liter. A 7 million becquels in your hot tub. There is no future. Unless we come up with technology to create a future. And they probably got that hit away somewhere. But most likely they went too far this time. Most likely they crossed the line. They killed that entire Pacific, the birds, the insects, and now the whole planet is starting to rot. I got a chicken leg out there that I put there when I got back from the 6th to 5th expedition uh, probably 4 or 5 weeks ago, I guess. And it's still right there on the ground. Zoe didn't eat it. It didn't rot. It's still sitting on the ground out there. The insects didn't touch it. Animals didn't come by and steal it. Cats didn't come by and scoop it. Crows or birds didn't come by and pick it up. It's just sitting there, just withering away. It's the damnedest thing. No bacteria. It's the damnedest thing I've ever saw. Okay, the show is over. Sorry, folks. It's okay. Come scoop it. And so that song is playing over and over in the background, Dina. So that song is playing over and over and over and over in the background. My, my apologies, folks. I'm bird brain today. I'm going to go and fix that right now because I know later I probably won't even remember to do that. Let me go and get rid of the loop. Put on hold. Okay, there you go. I'll go up and put save and so that won't happen to us no more. There you go. My apologies to Alex who wrote the music. But I do think it sounded really nice that time in the background. And it had that a feeling right away to me. Look at that. Like it just calmed me down the minute I just heard it out there. That just like kind of brought me back to earth just like that. How can that be a bad thing? It's not. And so we appreciate Alex for making the music. You got to try that chicken test, Sean, again, yeah. Yeah, no, that's tough stuff, eh? It's shocking. I'll go and take pictures right after. And Thomas, talk about Monsieur. Well, Monsieur, so uh, Tim Monsieur, I don't like him. I can't stand his guts first, Thomas. No offense to you. But he did show in Chernobyl that the bacteria was missing. And that other uh, studies that I would normally refer to showed that the trees were rotting in Chernobyl. And I got no time from Dr. Tim Monsieur. I really don't. No, no offense to you, Thomas. Uh, just I got so much on him. I got a big follower on that guy. He sucks Ken Busler's butt, uh, butt cheeks constantly. He's got his nose right up there. He's uh, Tim. He's part of Woods Hold. He's got, he's there to replace Jay Collin and, and Ken Busler. They can't get rid of those two guys just yet. But he's the guy that they're annoying to come in and be the, 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 the lying sack of shit that he is. You should have heard uh, when he was in Congress a few months ago talking to the Senate. Just disgusting. The things that that guy said were disgusting. Starlight, Cotton, Shanikin. Yeah, that music was awesome. I, I agree, Shanikin. Uh, Elaine, thank you, honey. Miss Milky is here. Miss Milky just sent me a video from November 2012. And I only had one minute. And... Uh, but anyway, I left her a comment, and so you might see that comment show up on my Google Plus. You can find the video. 
Albert, Ricky, Rattleshark, Atom, Arr! Uh, Abe's already killed himself, yeah, hopefully without the knife. Oliver, Sean, so there's a comment section over here, I just brought it up. Thomas Ackerman, kick the shit out of him, Thomas says. <laughs> I was talking to Thomas yesterday. We're going to put together a symposium uh, in the near future, in the next number of months. And so all the hounds can get together and meet each other if they want to, or just come and meet up. I'll be there. But the symposium will have lots of people there talking about Fukushima. And I really like that idea, and I think that idea is necessary, and I think it's overdue on top of that. And that, that, is, that is something that is, um, I do see in the future. And we will get infiltrated with the nuclear industry, right? They will show up in droves to try to cause problems. They'll probably call them bomb threats. Duck Lamb! Yeah, we need a concert for Fukushima. Daniel Freeman! No, I just put it there about a minute before it came live, uh, Jan. Um, thanks, Thomas. And Solar Mechanic, Chuck. I'm just, uh, I'm so freaking frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Yeah, but that music was awesome. I can hear it. It wasn't very loud, so it was okay. And maybe it sounds better on a loop. Who knows? <laughs> I'm not complaining. So we, we covered uh, Japan extensively, the radioactive fallout, right? We covered uh, the earthquake, the tsunami behind me, the detonations, the dispersal throughout Japan, the country, the models. We covered the facts, and this is the last number of episodes, because this week was the five episodes of Japan. Today was a little wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. But I get frustrated sometimes. And uh, I blame the music for putting a smile back on my face. Or I, I, I uh, commend the music for putting that smile back on my face. You can't blame something for putting a smile on your face, I don't think. Not even in uh, grammar can you pull that one off. And grammar books are 700 pages and they're small print. The earthquake and uh, tsunami affected 14 nuclear reactors at four sites along the eastern coast. But they haven't tried to open a reactor on that eastern coast because they're all wrecked. Because the tsunami, the earthquake at 9,000 miles an hour at, and shook everything for six minutes. Six minutes. Go over to your Ikea book stand or something like that or your TV stand and shake it really bad for six minutes. <laughs> and then leave everything on it though and then tell me how that worked out for you. And so then the earthquake, the tsunami... Uh, took out 500 miles of the east coast and so that's why the uh, reactors they're going to start are going to be inland my prediction or on the west side of japan you won't see any reactors on the east coast is my prediction because they all melted down and but they told us about 14 anyway and so that's probably a good thing okay and then we covered uh <laughs> can't even remember yeah the earthquake itself the tsunami how it rolled through that country and everything else I think we've done a good job, right? We covered uh, the kids. And today, Dana kind of flipped, whatever. Sue me. Hugs for everybody. I am feel better now. I'm probably not going to go out in the boat. <laughs> but I had that just moment to spirit here 10 minutes ago that I want to just go out in the boat and hide away from the world for a day and a half and just sit there and meditate or something. Mindy, and I probably still might do that. We're actually supposed to get sun for a couple of days. I still got fuel left on the boat. We raised another $100 yesterday on the TriCaster. We got to raise 12000 That puts us up a little over $2,100. And uh, we're moving. We're in the right direction. Life is good in those contexts. We're getting there. We're, we got our foot in that door for sure. I'll keep plugging it. You can donate at the nuclearproctologist.org. You'll find links below the video to two different ways to donate. One is PayPal. Type in Dana Durnford at hotmail.com to PayPal and you'll get me and you can donate right there. It's a safe way to do it. And so is my website through your credit cards. Go to contacts. You can find out how to donate. Let's hear that song. Well, we can't hear it again because I took the loop off. And so that's okay. Hugs for everybody. Bob, Jackie, and everybody else I didn't get to. Zip free. Ellie. 
uh, Sylvia, Candace, Amthurst, and we know there's all kinds of people out there. Kate, of course, and you'll find links below to Kate, website, the Fukushima Hounds. And I can never mention it enough, and I, and I will always, like I say, do the things I do. Sometimes I'll have bad days, too, and I'm sure that's understandable, I hope. And if not, my apologies. That's just the way it goes. But it doesn't go that way too often, thank goodness. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks.